hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel easy explanation in this video tutorial we'll be learning about default argument in c++ so what is default argument in a function or in a function call so default argument is a value assigned to function parameters during its declaration it means default arguments are nothing but value assigned to function parameters okay so there are lots of disadvantages of using default argument in a function call so we'll be learning about this thing by writing a program so let us write a simple c++ code for that i'll create a file called the test.cpp c++ program to understand the concept of default argument so let us do the require import so has include io stream using namespace std for c out and c in and we'll write a function called as main int main and return zero let's write a simple function now let us say i have function something like this int add int x comma int y and this is a simple function the, that returns just the sum of two variables x and y you can see x and y are the function parameter over here now we call this function from main something like this c out sum is equals to add 10 comma 20 and uh, okay now let's run this code g plus plus dot slash a dot dot you can see the value of sum is now 30 right? as, as we have passed 10 to x and 20 to y and it is returning 10 plus 20 which is 30 this is all the sum is 30 here so we have not assigned any type of argument default values to this function parameter now to understand the concept of default argument we need to assign some values to it something like x is equals to minus 1 and y is equals to suppose minus 2 now if i'll compile this code c plus plus and a dot out we are still getting the sum as a 30 so we are calling this function add with the two value with two values 10 and 20 so you can see this default value is minus 1 and minus 2 get overridden by this actual argument passed over here the default values minus 1 and minus 2 of x and y are overridden by the default values 10 and 20 or by the value 10 and 20 that we are using to call this function so always remember the actual argument that are passed have more preference or higher preference compared to the default argument that is passed that is used in the function call so suppose if i'm using something like c out sum is equals to this and if you are call, simply calling this function and uh, now if i'll compile this code and run it you can see the value the sum is equals to minus three now so if you are not passing any type of argument during the function call it automatically uses the default arguments default arguments for the calculation so since we are not passing any type of argument in a function call so the value of x is equals to minus one and the value of y is equals to minus two will be used and we got the value as a minus three which is the sum let's understand another concept like c out sum is equals to let us call the same function add i'm passing just a single value 10 and, and uh, 
So what will be the result? What will be the output of this function call? We are we are using we are calling this function by using just a single argument. In this case, we have a two arguments required to make the function call. So what will be the case in such scenario? So you can see the sum is now minus eight. Means what happens is like if you have uh, if you have two argument in a function call and if you are just passing a single values while making a function call then what happens is the first argument will be assigned with this values and second argument will be using its default value so x is, so x will have the value of 10 and y is using the default value of minus 2 and by using this logic we are getting the value of sum is equals to 8 so in this way you can understand the concept of default argument so if you are not like if you have some default argument in a function call and if you are calling the function without passing any argument and then by default it will be using its default argument for the calculation like if you have n number of argument and if you are calling the function by using just uh, like uh, if you have suppose three arguments and if you are calling the function by using just two arguments then the value will be assigned in left to right order the value will be assigned in left to right order let, let us understand this concept by creating another function something like uh, double sum double x double y and double z and let us say this function returns something like x plus y plus z now let us make a function call see out sum is equals to sum in del now if i compile and run this code and then you can see since this function sum is expecting the user to enter some argument while making the function call see no matching function call for the function sum so it throws the error now to avoid this what we can do is you can assign some different we can assign some default argument to this parameters parameters so x equals to 10 y is equals to 20 and z is equals to 30 and if i'll compile this code again we are not getting any error so this is another advantages of using default argument in a function call then you can see we are get the sum as a 60. now let us make call the same function sum using another argument that uh, let us say is one comma two so here the sum function is expecting us to enter or call this function by using three argument but we are calling the function just by just using these two argument so what will be the output let us discuss that you can see we can go, we have got the value of sum is equals to 33 so what happens in this case is so like if you are passing limited number of argument then the value will be assigned in left to right order so x will be assigned with one y will be assigned with two and double will be using sorry z will be using its default argument 30 so 1 plus 2 is 3 30 plus 3 is 33 so you got the sum as a 33 so this is the concept of a default argument in a c c plus plus so like uh, this is all about the default argument in during in a function call how to use it in a function call in c plus programming language like if you have any question regarding this please mention in the comment section and now let us uh, discuss some of the uh, multiple choice question related to this default argument so let us discuss some of the multiple choice case questions related to default argument so what is default argument in C++? An argument that is automatically assigned to default value. An argument that is required to be passed by caller. An argument that is used for error handling. An argument that is not allowed in a function declaration. So obviously the answer will be A. An argument that is automatically assigned a default value. Which section of a function declaration specifies the default argument? So what happened there? It is a parameter list. now how are default argument specified in a function declaration using default keyword using optional keyword by assigning a value directly to the parameter so obviously the answer will be c by assigning a value directly to its parameter what is the typical uses of default argument 
the typical uses of default argument is to provide initial values for function parameters so answer will be a when calling a function with default argument which of the following is true default argument can be omitted for any parameter default argument can only be omitted for the last parameter default argument can only be omitted for the first parameter default argument can must be provided for all the parameters so the answer will be default argument can be omitted for any parameter so let us understand this concept when calling a function uh, function with default argument which of the following is true default argument can be omitted for any parameter or not so for that let us let us say i have omitted default argument for x then what happen what will hap happen over here if i will compile this code you can see candidate function not viable require at least argument x so you cannot omit the first if you omit the last so you cannot omit the last also in this case as to 30 so answer for this will be default argument can be omitted for any parameters default argument like while, while making the function call we can omit the argument something like this and this now what is the order of assigning default argument in a function call so obviously the answer will be from left to right that we have discussed over there we have discussed like if you are assigning like it is expecting us to enter three argument while making the function call we are providing only two argument so the order of assignment will, assignment will be from left to right i think uh, there is some mistake in this question so i'll solve it in next slide like what is the issue with this question and i'll come with the solution for that so thank you so much everyone like if you have any question or queries regarding default argument please mention in the comment section thank you so much everyone and please like share and subscribe our channel and please be updated for any new videos thank you so much